In this lecture, we are going to learn about friend classes in C++. So what are friend classes and why are they important? This is the first thing that we need to understand. So C++ provides us with a lot of access methods like we have the public attributes which are available to everyone, okay, accessible to everyone. You have protected which are not available to everyone, but it is available to the inherited classes. Okay, so protected. And then you have the private which cannot be accessed by anyone except the class itself. But sometimes you may need to be liberal. Okay. So in that case, what happens? Uh, so from real life also your example you don't usually share everything with everyone so you have some kind of core okay so c++ classes are also like that okay so this is your core you don't want to share with anyone okay this is something in between you can share with your children some people okay and this is the outer your public appearance for everyone but sometimes what happened this core needs to be shared by someone okay so the private properties the private attributes the functions so they need to be shared by someone you really kind of trust or you know that okay this can do some useful function for that so we define friend classes and friend functions in c++ okay so what happens is that when for example you write that okay a function is a friend okay then that function can access the private attributes and of course if it can access the private attributes it can access both the protected and public attributes too so and similarly if you write a whole class as a friend then that class itself can hand access all the private attributes of the class so now let's try to see one concrete example so we will look at one concrete example where we have uh, two classes so class 2 and class 1 then what happens is your class 1 has two functions okay and those functions are function a okay it takes the argument as the reference to 2 the class 2 and also function b which returns int and it takes the argument as reference to class 2 now what is your class 2 it has two private attributes integers t1 and t2 and it has uh, just a constructor default constructor that is takes no argument and it initializes t1 to be 2 and t2 to be 3 now you have two friend classes okay two friend functions and what are they so in fact let's for now just do one thing so we have these this one friend function that is in class 2 I define a friend function and that function is basically a member function of class 1. So this is just I am defining that function A that would be there in class A. Okay that is a friend of class 2. Okay so the, the function A from class 1 is a friend of class 2 so what happens now we define the friend function int it is part of class 1 so one scope resolution function a it is taking argument as reference of class 2 and then what here what you will see that return b dot t1 now t1 is the private attribute of class 2 but you see that the friend function can access it so for friends you allow access to some private attributes okay so that's there and then in int main what i do define one object of class 1 one object of class 2 then i say o1 dot function a o2 it prints out t1 for me and now i am not defined function 2 so this will print so let's try to build it it builds fine now run it so we see that we defined one class 1 uh, one object of class 2 o2 then we called o1 dot function a we passed o2 as parameter and then 
we got the answer two and two is basically it was trying to return t1 dot o two dot t1 so which was a private attribute okay so this shows that your friend functions can access your private attributes now let's see let's add one more thing so i add one more friend function okay so i now define another function function b of class one also as a friend and then this has also the same signature it takes reference to two's object i define implement it here so int it is a function of one so function b it returns b dot t2 again t2 is a private attribute so it can be accessed and i call c out then o1 dot function b we call and this also should work fine so let's try to build the code builds properly and we see two and three are now getting printed so that is fine because now the call to o1 dot function b so it prints out o2 like it is trying to access o2 dot t2 so it works fine but one thing now we see that this class one has two functions and now if we are making each of them all the member functions of class 1 as friends of class 2 so instead of that i can just write in short that if every member all member functions of class 2 of class 1 can access so i can just write friend class 1 okay so this will tell that okay every member function of class 1 are friends of function of class 2 and so this becomes now fine this way also it would work so if you see here so we build again it builds fine and it will give you the same result so you can make a whole class also as a function of any other class as a friend of any other class and then it should all the member functions of that class would be able to access the private attributes of your and protected attributes as well of your friend class so now what happens is one more thing to note here is i have defined friend class one in public as public attribute but even if you can define that friend function is private in protected area everywhere it will work the same so i hope you understand this so thanks a lot